two, four, six, eight. Hi friends, it's Jen. And I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday <clears throat> and I found a couple of nice things that I wanted. So, yesterday my son and I went to the Dollar Tree and uh, with the intent to find the, my little wish list and I found two of my wish list items at the Dollar Tree and I'm kind of happy, can't wait to try it out. Okay, so look what I found at the Dollar Tree. Yep, brow powder. Look at that. I don't know how I missed it last time. It may have been there, but it wasn't on my mind, I think, when I went there last week. There's a glare there. It's got two colors and a little, a little uh, brush. And it does say that it's paraben free, which is good. Look at that. <gasps> Look, I've been, I can't say I've been looking for it. I've always wanted it, but I'm not willing to pay like five or six dollars or ho however it is, costs at the drugstores. Definitely not MAC for me. You guys know that I'm on a, I try to live a budget and a frugal lifestyle. So I found that, can't wait to use it. And then second, remember I asked if anyone knows if they have dry shampoo. I found two different ones. I found one from Germac Distinctions. This one says silver, silver plus invisible dry shampoo. However, it does, it says with moisturizing wheat proteins for gray, blonde, bleached or highlighted hair. Now I do have some grays that I do try to touch up with hair dye, but I don't have blonde or bleached hair. So I kind of tried it in the store on my ponytail and I told my son to tell me what it looked like and he has no clue what to. So anyways, I, so I figured I bought, I'll buy this one. <clears throat> and let's see, this one is 4.3 point ounces of dry shampoo. This one is 2.2, so I thought I'd, I'd buy both of them. Now this one, there was only like two left and it was missing the cap and I don't know if it was been sprayed, so I just got this one. And this one, I haven't tried either of them yet, dry shampoo. Reinvigorates and revolumize oily hair and roots in minutes. Something tells me I might like this one better, but I'll uh, try both of them out to see at different times, try them out and uh, to see which one I like best because I don't wash my hair every day because my hair gets dry when I do. <clears throat> so I kind of wash them like maybe um, every two days I, I uh, wash my hair and um, and then I like to, in between I like to spray this dry shampoo um, in my hair and it also gives you volume and uh, some nice fullness and texture in your hair. And then I didn't see this yes um, last week when I went to the Dollar Tree, but I, they did have it's called Perfect Purity Unscented Hairspray uh, Maximum Hold. I found a Maximum Hold hairspray because I said if they had that other one, Salon Selectives, if they had it on in Maximum Hold, I'd get it. It's not Salon Selectives, it's Perfect Purity, but it's Maximum Hold. Hopefully this works because I did purchase, I think it was called Halsa, I think that's what it was called, at the 99 cent store that said it was Maximum Hold and it was not Maximum Hold. So I'm hoping this one works, so I can't wait to try this one. Okay, and then I still was looking for a shampoo since that other one was a bust for me. I figured I'll try and give Pure and Natural a try. Pure and Natural Rosemary and Mint Shampoo. Hypoallergenic and Paraben Free. I think it's gonna, it smells good. I smelled it in the, oh. It smells good. I like the smell. It's like it's really light and it's clean smelling. I just hope it works on my hair. All right. 
So that's that. I haven't tried any of these products yet. <clears throat> and then I was browsing through the, um, the makeup aisle where I did find this little thing. And then I needed some red lipstick. So I found this by ALF Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick. It's uh, in the shade Movie Star. Long wearing tinted lip color. I need a light in here. So this is how it looks. I think I might open it up and see how it looks. Let's see. Open it up. <clears throat> I wonder how much is in here. It feels really lightweight. Let's see. Not that. That's kind of what I wanted. I wanted like a red lip, but yet I don't want like a shocking bam. Let me see. In your face red lip on me. I've seen other people wear red bright red lips and it looks nice on them, but I don't I don't know. I'm not ready for it yet. Let's see. not that bad it's not it's it's subtle I like it because it's kind of subtle mm -hmm. yeah, it's subtle I like it oh and it's a push-up one oh so you'll have enough uh, there's enough product in here so this is elf it's like a tinted lip gloss a jumbo and then I wouldn't say I'm really a makeup person. I mean, I'll go days without wearing any makeup on my face, especially if I'm home. If you see me in the grocery store, I won't have any makeup on. Sometimes I just don't like wearing makeup all the time. And I definitely, <clears throat> I definitely don't like um, foundation, even though I do have foundation. So when I went on a job interview um, last year, like September, I'm like, okay, I better get some foundation to look presentable or whatever but anyways I don't like the heaviness of um, the foundation so I saw this in the Dollar Tree by sassy and chic <clears throat> it's a BB cream and it says it is in medium and so I thought well her baby cream is BB cream is really good and um, it's lighter than lighter than um, foundation. So I thought I'd give this a try. I wonder how it looks. Let's see how it looks. Oh, I wonder if that's going to be too light for me. Look at that. I think it's going to be too light. I don't know. I'll test it out. Anyways. <clears throat> I'll test it out. I could probably put like some uh, setting powder. My setting powder medium shade setting powder on it maybe. It doesn't have a scent. It just smells like... I don't know what it smells like. So that was um, makeup and hair stuff that I bought. And then as I was walking through the store, I saw these. They are high heel insoles. And boy, do I need these high heel insoles. They're cute. And for a dollar, I thought, hey, it doesn't hurt to give it a try. So I figured I'll pick them up and see how they feel. And this is how they come. And you can see here the cushion. It's cushiony. And they're so cute, too. And then they have that little strip of adhesive to put in your shoe, your heel. So this looks, and they're like little designer style. So I thought these are good, so <clears throat> they give me some uh, cushion there for when I'm using my heels. And then this is for my son. He loves these things. He's always in love with those things. 
And then I bought a little notebook. Um, I helped my dad with his finances, like paying his bills, and he lives like an hour away, so he always calls me if I can call his bank and see what's gone out, you know, his checks, his bills, what's cleared, and what's my balance. And every time he calls me, I'm in different places of the house, so I'm just grabbing like scratch paper and uh, an envelope, and I'm writing all that information down, and nothing's together. So I figured I definitely need to get a little notebook for him, for my house, so I can keep all his little info together. So if he asks me, like, what happened last week? Did this blah, blah, blah clear? <clears throat> and I can refer back to say, yeah, I did. So that's that. And then I needed some of these. My old ones, I'm missing the cup. I don't know where the cup is. There's a few others I'm missing. I don't, the only thing I have is like the two-third and the quarter cup. So I keep putting like four scoops in to make one cup or two cups. So I figured I need some more of these. So I got those for a dollar. And then I browsed the uh, cleaning aisle and I saw this. It's a classic burst laundry detergent with color safe bleach, with stain fighting power. Um, let's see, Island Sensations is the scent. And it's 19 ounces, so it's like one pound and 18 ounces total. So I figured I'll give it a try. I like to try out new things, and you never know. Sometimes things that are like a dollar um, could work just as well as something that's like five or eight bucks. So how do you open this? Oh, I just want to smell the scent of this thing. It doesn't really have a smell to it, but we'll see how it does on the clothes. I like to try this stuff on my like white clothes first to see how it handles. So I'll let you know. I'll do like a review of these products to see how they work. So that looks. That's about it for the Dollar Tree. And then I think I spent like thirteen dollars on this stuff. And then my son and I, we went to the 99 cent store. I only got three items. He loves this soap. He loves the cute. Oh, actually, he likes the lemon one. I wonder why he got the cucumber melon, but he loves this. I like these soaps, too. I remember I, um, I think it was last year in the springtime, I sent in a picture of my cat because they wanted, uh, on Facebook, they wanted to show your pet and washing or cleaning or something like that and I took a picture of my cat in the sink and um, I don't know if I have that I might have it still but um, she and three other cats or animals won a, a big box I think we got like 23 boxes of soap of variety from them I might have that picture I don't know where that picture is if I find the picture, I'll put it in the end of the video. And then my son, of course, when my son comes with me, he always wants something. Doesn't, if you have little small kids, it doesn't stop when they go to the store with you. My son's 19 and he always wants something. So he got this coffee mocha drink. And then I needed some jasmine rice. And got some jasmine rice. And then they had the, um, the flyer there. I didn't know they had flyers. So I thought I'd pick up the flyer to show you. The 99 cent flyer to show what they have. I didn't go into the makeup aisle here. Because they have some like nice name brand. They have CoverGirl, Revlon, L'Oreal. They have some nice name branded uh, makeup here. For 99 cents. That's pretty good. And then, yeah, here they have corn, blueberries, avocados, Kleenex, NyQuil knockoff, and let's see, bell peppers, two for 99 cents, Dollar ninety nine for those little fleece blankies. Those are cute. I like fleece blankets. And let's see, big game savings. 99 cents for some snacks. And, 
and it looks like this is the Valentine section, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what they have. <clears throat> They're advertising for Valentine's Day. And these are some other products here that they have. I can't say on sale because everything's like priced the same. Oh, look at that. Sheesh. What are those? Oh, they have intimate apparel there. Oh, boy. Fragrances, champagne flutes, handcuffs, dessert topping. They got handcuffs. Oh, boy. And they have some pretty earrings. They're really getting ready for Valentine's Day, I'll say. Okay, friends. So that's it. That was my Dollar Tree haul for this week. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to try these products and give you a review how they look, if it's pretty good to use these, or if you're better off just, uh, using or going to the 99 cent store and buying the Revlon and all the name branded stuff. Okay. So that's it. Um, I have one more video that I'm going to put out and, uh, I'll get that going and... Isabel back there. She's up to no good. Um, so that's it. Okay, that should do it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.